Hello, my name is Mark, and I'd like to welcome you to the Lazy Brook Farm. Today, I'm gonna to take you through how I got ready for winter, putting grooves in your tractor's tires, and three ways to get your snow-stranded tractor unstuck. Looks like I'm a bit late this year. The snow has already started and I have a few things to do to get ready. The first thing I need to do is attach the plow. This was built and designed by Silver Lake Fabrication. I try to clean the plow at the start of the season, but I got a late start this year, so this will have to do. Just a simple automotive wax will help the snow slide right off. Both at the start and the end of the winter season is a great time to apply grease to all of your fittings. One thing I did want to mention is grooving your tires. It'll help capture a little bit of extra snow there, which gives you a lot more traction when you're driving up and down your driveway and you're plowing or whether you're just driving straight through a forest trail and it really does help a lot to give you that little bit of extra traction and as you can see it doesn't really take away much from the tread block itself so you shouldn't get any additional wear for that. I did this last year I've got a photo of it of halfway through the project and I just I can't say enough it's it's definitely done a lot to help the tractor uh, in the snow plowing and, and whatnot uh, something you can do if you feel up for it is doing uh, what they call sipes which is basically small cuts in the tire tread that will help capture the snow a little bit better than these grooves they're they're a little bit on the, the large side this is the tool you need to use. As you can see from the end, it's got this little sharpened bent piece of metal that you can adjust the depth. Um, I did take the tires off, brought them inside, a few feet away from the, uh, the wood stove just to get them up to temperature instead of uh, in the middle of winter in my garage. It went pretty quick. I probably spent about a half an hour a tire. Used the tool to push right through. It definitely helped out quite a lot. So I've gone and done it just for you. I purposely got the tractor stuck. As you can see, it's a pretty good one. There's no way I'm getting out of there on my own. But here I'm gonna go and show you exactly how I'd go about getting unstuck and why I love the backhoe so much. So one of the very first things you should do when you are stuck is if you push in the brake pedal just about two inches, It'll engage the locking differential in the rear, which will help in some cases, but not in this one. But as you can see, it does take a little bit of uh, effort to balance the pedals with both feet. They do make a kit that uh, you can have that locking ability over on the left side, so it's a little bit less awkward, but I don't have that one yet. One of the things that you do need is some sort of heavy duty strap. Uh, you can use chains. Um, I definitely recommend something beefier than a ratchet strap. I believe this is uh, a 25 ton uh, pulling strap, hooks on both ends. And after this, you just need to find a handy tree. Uh, if you don't have any around, they do have uh, land anchors that a lot of the off-roaders use. Uh, you just have to wedge it into the, the dirt pretty good. That might be a little bit hard in the winter because the ground is mostly frozen, but you never know. Sometimes you just need a little extra help. This is by far my favorite of the three methods of getting unstuck. After you extend the backhoe, hook the strap near the bucket 
so you can curl the bucket to help get uh, additional tension. Make sure to gauge reverse to help pull yourself out a little bit and just curl the back out to pull you right out. You might need to stop every once in a while and take up a little bit of slack in that line. And just repeat until you're up. So that was it. That was everything to it. Just using the backhoe, anchor to a tree, and I was able to pull myself right out. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get out. Another option you have is to use the front end loader. You can push down, lifting the front of the tractor up, and then use the curl feature to curl out, pushing the tractor backwards. You do want to make sure you engage reverse just to give it that little extra bit to back out. Here I go, getting stuck again just for you. This one is probably the easiest of the three. Just using the back up, pick up the back end and move you forward just a little bit. Have it in four gear just to help it out a little. And there you go, nice and easy, able to get out. better way to end the day than relax by a warm fire. I look forward to reading your comments and don't forget to like and if you haven't already subscribe to keep up to date with the latest videos.